hi and welcome back to my channel in today's video you have my birthday video i guess i'll say it's not solely a book haul but instead of putting up a recent reads because all of the books that i read last week that i would talk about in the recent reads i just talked about in my wrap up so i'm not going to talk about them again and once again the color balance is weird and i have no idea to fix it maybe that did something i'm going to cut real quick to what i bought for myself I was initially going to include it in my unboxing video, but now I'm going to put it in my birthday video. I went to a used bookstore. I was not planning on going to this used bookstore, but I went out to eat for lunch with my family and the restaurant didn't have any big tables. So we got split up and my half finished before. And so I was going to just walk around some of the shops in this shopping center. And then I saw a used bookstore. And I saw something in there. It's the piece de resistance of my collection. All of these books are collection books. These are not books that are adding to my TBR. I'm really excited about all of these. Even though I don't remember, like, some of my editions are not complete. Like, the collection is not complete. And none of what I purchased except for one thing is complete. So I have to keep in mind... I need to take like pictures and store them on my phone or something. But I have two books from the Del Rey edition, which came out in the 90s, I believe. So I have The Hobbit and I have Return of the King. So I'm missing two in this one. So we have this interesting cover here. I love it because, because obviously that's Treebeard and there's another Ent and there's one of the Hobbits either Mary or Pippin. Really like this. I really want the rest in this collection because I think that the illustrations will probably be the same style, but I don't even know on some of these. And then I have this one where I have, I think I'm trying to find where they are here on the shelf. Yes. So I have, this completes this collection, this edition, because I have the Silmarillion and the three parts of Lord of the Rings, and this is The Hobbit. So I'm glad I remembered that one correctly. I'm going in reverse order chronologically because next we have this edition of Return of the King. And then we have these, which are classic. And these illustrations are absolutely fascinating. I have The Two Towers and I have Return of the King. Those are the individual books adding to my Lord of the Rings collection. I told you, I have a complete set coming up and I saw this and I about lost my mind. I spent a whole lot more money today than I planned because I didn't plan to spend any money, but I saw this and I could not pass it up because the condition for the age of these books is phenomenal. It's a box set from 1965. I love this. You can see a little bit of damage here on the box, but this is, this is a solid box. And I wish all of them were the same number printing, but this first one is 12th printing and 12 is my favorite number. So this is my birthday present to me. We have the Fellowship of the Ring. This, it's interesting because the others are the 11th printing. So I don't understand how you have a box set with different printings of the books. But you can see that this is a little bit, I don't know whether this was the original color or whether they just did the top of it or not, but this set was a gift. So this same marking here is in all of them. And what I love is that this was given to someone it's like on your first Christmas as a wife, but this is high fantasy given to a woman in the sixties. Yes, I will take that. So we have the fellowship of the ring with that as the back. We have the two towers. Again, we have that same sticker inside. And then we have return of the king. This because this was this is the second edition revised with a new forward from the author is what it says i'm trying to see i'm trying to remember what the original publication date is 
I don't remember what the original publication date is. It's sometime in the 50s. So I now have a complete set of Lord of the Rings from only about 10 years after the books were published. It was worth every penny. All right, so now we have what I got for my birthday. Now for my dad, I didn't get anything physical. We went to a Braves game. Technically we went to two Braves games because he got the time wrong and we didn't arrive for the first one until the top of the seventh inning. So we went to the one the next day and it was a lot of fun. I love baseball. I'm not into it as much as I was in the past, but I still absolutely love the sport. It's nerd heaven. Like all the stats and stuff, I love it. Now, for my birthday this year, I didn't get many books, but I got some book related things. I got a lot of my favorite things. My cousin, one of my cousins who I haven't seen in a few years who lives up in Maine, she got me a coffee subscription. So I'm really excited about that. And then my aunt, I didn't bring them in here. She made some ginger snaps for me. These literally are no, no question, no debate. The best ginger snaps ever. I've got two Tupperware containers of them. Well, not Tupperware, but you know, my mom asked me, are those going to make it to the beach? And we leave in three days. One of them might. And then my mom, who can't stop getting me things, uh, she got me some things and it's a variety of things. First off, we have some puzzles, 2000 piece puzzles. This one's going to be fun. I put it on there because I know that, you know, she likes doors and doors and windows. It's really fun. And when you break up the image like this, it's a lot easier to do. And then this one I got because my grandpa, he loves M&Ms. And again, there's a lot on here. So I think it's going to be really easy to do, even though some of my family doesn't think so. So there's all these different M&M packages. I'm really excited about this one. So those are going to be like beach puzzle things. And then I did get three books. I got books. Let's see. They're not quite in order. Okay. I got book one, the hidden Oracle book two, the dark prophecy and book three, the burning maze of the trials of Apollo. I'm pretty sure this is a five book series. Yes, this is a five book series. So I still need two others and I'm really tempted to get the, the one that I can't remember. That's the Nico story and I'm blanking on the other character's name, but I, I have almost all of Rick Riordan's books here. And then we have shirts. So we have this one here that I'm wearing. I like big books and I cannot lie. We've got a running related one that I'm really excited about. I read her memoir last month. This is Des Linden. Uh, this is a Brooks t-shirt. That's her sponsor. Her catchphrase is keep showing up. And then we've got this on the back here, you know, all the different weather and stuff. Love it. And then we've got the book was better and <laughs> my birthstone is a coffee bean. So I'm really excited. This was a fun birthday. Definitely low key. Birthdays are always low key as you get older, but I still really enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one.